some are and you call them masters and some are and you're amazed at what they accomplish some are and they just knock you over with their clarity and their power and their attractive power their ability to accomplish and to draw to them they amaze you and so often confound you because it feels to you like you mean well it feels to you like you too are good it feels to you that you are deserving or you want to be deserving but instead of being a vibrational match to what you're asking for so often you are a vibrational match to what you've got and things can't change if you are a vibrational match to what you've got things are always changing but they keep changing to whatever it is you are giving your attention to so it's different faces different places but more of the same essence in other words it's sort of the same struggle for most people because they are so enamored with what is people say I believe I should face reality and we say we get that but you did not come to face reality to regurgitate reality to document reality to hold yourself in sync with reality you came to create reality you came to create new reality you came to let this magnificent time space reality inspire you to improvement to new preferences because you understood that if this time space reality can cause you to desire something to launch that rocket you knew before you came into this body that once that rocket was launched once that vibrational becoming had happened that your inner being that that which you want to call God that source that we want to call the resource of that which is everything will join that thought and law of attraction will respond to it and your idea your vision your desire your wanting will become a reality and you you get to be the witness of it we want you to be the witness of your desire turning to the manifestations that you have asked for we want you to understand that if you could just understand that that is your work to witness it not to make it happen you don't get into your automobile and ever have the urge to get under the hood and be part of the engine and make it go I'll just tug along on these pulleys for a little while today that never occurs to you you understand that there is another engine another force another mechanism and you do what you are meant to do you decide where you want to go and you point in the right direction and you make correcting changes all along the way you guide yourself to where you want to be and that's what you are wanting to do here you are the chooser of where you want to be law of attraction is the engine that will bring it about but your mechanism your function your success your happiness which is the success that we're really talking about is all about your finding vibrational alignment with what you're asking for in the beginning of Esther allowing us to flow through her while she found because she was in the receiving mode perfect words to match the vibration that we were presenting her words said if you desire something and believe it then it is because when desire and belief are in the same place there is no resistance and resistance is the only thing that prevents anything from happening and happening right away so you were born with this emotional guidance system that lets you know what you're doing vibrationally it lets you know how in the receiving mode for the desires that your life has caused you to launch you are or are not in any point in time the better you feel the more in alignment you are the worse you feel the more out of alignment you are and there is a momentum about every thought that you think your thoughts matter a lot what you think matters so much because what you think is always having a relational experience with what the source within you thinks about exactly the same thing so when you think I'm not a good person you feel strong negative emotion because your inner being will never agree with that if you think this is going to be very difficult you'll feel concern maybe even depression certainly discouragement because your thought that this is going to be difficult does not jive at all with your inner beings knowledge of the power of the universe and the ease and flow of you directing your thoughts simply but you've forgotten how to offer pure thoughts you've been trained into such objectiveness you weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses let me stack this all up in order to make a decision 
and we say you kill every desire with your thoughts that make you feel doubt I want this but oh it'd be really nice to have that but I wasn't born to the right people or I wasn't born at the right time or I wasn't born it is not going to happen to me and so you offer contradictory thoughts and because you think they're reasonable you don't even know that you're doing it but when you start living life vibrationally when you start living life emotionally when you accept the emotions that you feel as your guidance system then you come to understand that everything that you are thinking has a vibrational offering and every vibrational offering has a relationship with what source within you knows about the same thing so the better you feel the less you, gap you have which means the less resistance you have which means the more power you are allowing to flow which means the more attraction power that you have which means the more cooperative components are coming to you which means you are not in that moment of joy or clarity or fun or laughter or eagerness or passion you are not offering a resistant vibration and you don't have to keep that up very long in terms of your time before those thoughts have turned to things and that's the part that we want to remind you that's the part that so often you've forgotten when you are thinking thoughts from the receptive mode those thoughts are turning not only quickly but to wonderful things when you're thinking thoughts from your not receptive mode from your guarded mode from your protective mode from your defensive mode those thoughts also because law of attraction responds to everything are turning to things but the things that they turn to you don't like so much and then if you're like most humans you spend all your time arguing about those things that you and others have created not from your receptive mode politics is based on that almost all religion is based upon that all of your debates and arguments and negotiations almost all of that is you all oh we love you so much squabbling like children because you've forgotten what the receptive mode feels like and we love you so much you're not disciplined enough to stay there long enough to experience the movement and the witnessing of the universal forces responding on your behalf your sense of worthiness will come on full force once you discover how good it feels to feel good and once you are willing to make some attention or focus toward feeling good just reaching for the best feeling thought you can find now and now and now we've been saying for a while that there are two ways for you to know what you're doing vibrationally one is by the way you feel while you're offering it and the other is by noticing how it turns out both are fine it's just one is pre-manifestation the other is post manifestation and so we think it is such a wonderful thing when you're in some mood and you're there for a while maybe a really good receptive happy mood or maybe depressed or defensive and then you've been there long enough that a manifestation occurs and it is so lovely when you finally say I get that now I'm here with this thing I want not so much I recognize the thought that I harbored and encouraged I get why that turned to that thing in fact I remember witnessing it happening I remember how there was that and then 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 there was that and there was that I remember the trend the trend toward this manifestation and what we want you to know is you can stop the trend at any moment you can stop the trend toward unwanted and get it moving toward wanted as soon as you decide first this is a vibrational universe next you are a vibrational being within it next there's way more momentum for well-being for you than you could ever add to while you're here in this physical body you are blessed beyond our ability to even explain it to you next you can tell by the way you feel what stream of consciousness you are expanding on and finally once you decide that nothing matters more to you than that you feel good and you are willing to find the best feeling thoughts not the most realistic thought in the moment Esther said to us many times in the early days Abraham but it's true and we said what's that got to do with anything <laughs> the things that are true are only things that people have created and the things that are true that are crummy and that you don't want are only things that are created from a place of not really being in that powerful receptive mode 
you can practice yourself there you can be the deliberate creator of your own experience you can come to value every experience no matter how good or not good it feels in the moment you can discover the passion that source feels about you you can begin to feel the importance that is you and once you think deliberately for a while or better said once you feel deliberately for a while and once you become consciously aware and you are deliberately witnessing the manifestations that are unfolding as a result of the mood that you are deliberately accomplishing and encouraging your sense of worthiness will skyrocket as you realize that there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have that you are the creator of your own reality and then and only then you'll get on with the reason you came didn't come to fix a broken world it's not broken and you didn't come to fix it anyway you came to create your reality and you knew that there were enough others enough other cooperative components to inspire your desire and to encourage your desire and to harmonize with your desire you knew that there was enough resource from all that had come before and from all that is present in this leading edge time space reality for everyone to live happily everyone to be the creator of their own experience because when you thrive you deprive no one of anything because the resource of your thriving is not taken from someone else the resource of your thriving is your desire turning to things that's why the economy expands the way it does you're not trucking in oil or other resources from other planets your economy is as a result of the thriving to the degree that you as individuals and collective consciousness allow it and you've got to know this that there are always those who thrive even in what you call not good economic times and there are always those who suffer and don't thrive even in excellent economic times you've got to accept that it's up to you and it's up to you only in one way you've got to hook in with the resource of thriving because it's there for you and if you're not thriving it's because your tuners off just a little bit and usually the reason your tuners off is because you're looking at what is not feeling what's coming so you came your source energy you came into this body you sifted and sorted you launched desires into this what we are calling vibrational reality this vibrational reality matters so much we wrote a whole book about it and gave this vibrational reality the name of the vortex because we wanted you to accept its existence hard for you because you're used to seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching things and when we're talking about a unseen unsmelling unhearing in other words you can't see this vortex you can sense it you can feel it but you got to be pretty good at your emotional awareness before this vortex feels like a reality to you but it's a reality to us we know everything that you've put into it we've watched you put it there incrementally we've watched law of attraction gather momentum and gather more cooperative components and it bubbles and boils and becomes more and more and then when you least expect it meaning when you are least pushing vibrationally against it an idea occurs to you an idea is born because you let it be born and you feel like oh this is new we say no it's old 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 it's been becoming 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 you just received it and here's the thing that we so want you to hear about that new desire that you just received it has so much momentum already going so much of its involvement has happened before you even allowed yourself to receive it that it is certain it is for sure that once you have received it it must come to fruition but you got to get out of your meaning to be helpful but not action oriented wrestle it to the ground and kill it ways we're eager to talk with you about anything you want to talk about nothing is off limits you're going to notice a wonderful evolving of understanding as we are playing here together so just be easy about it you are primarily in the receptive mode you listened to us we spoke the truth that is at the heart of everything that you know to be and as you listened your vibration shifted into a place of predominant receptivity which means we're gonna have a really good time as we're moving forward here today so.